wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I modeled that, uh, how I made that animation that I showed uh, in the start of the video. As you can see, this is not a really complex scene. I just modeled uh, the, that pillar thing like, and then I added a, a plane and used a, a free add-on to add some grass and whatever. So it's not a really complex scene, but still it's kind of cool. So yeah, I'll be showing you how I created this scene. Okay, so first you delete the cube and then you add the cube again because uh, that is law. Then using some scaling on the different axes, the Y and the Z and the X, you want to uh, just scale it down to, uh, to kind of look like uh, a single uh, step, uh, something like what I'm doing right now. So you just want to scale it down on the different axes to make it kind of look like uh, a step okay next you want to enter edit mode and you want to go on edge select and you select that edge right there then you press ctrl b to kind of bevel it now once you bevel it a bit you just go in the bevel settings right there and you set the value to uh, about 10 to 19 or so then you shade smooth and uh yeah there we have one step next uh, uh you want to press ctrl a and apply all uh, transforms next we're going to add the array modifier so you just go in the modifier tab and you want to add the array modifier and look at the the x y and z factors you just want to adjust them so one step is directly on top of the other so yeah that's basically what i'm doing here and as you expect as um as you expected i'll just uh increase the count and there you can make any amount of step that you want and it's that simple to create uh the step right there and also if you want to change the angle of the step of course you can press x s sorry to scale it on the different axis and as you can see you can kind of change the angle of the of the of the steps and yeah it's that simple to create the step so that is the first element that we'll be creating okay so next we'll be modeling uh this thing right here i don't know what 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 it's called but yeah we'll be modeling that right there the thing that holds the column so it's simple you add a you want to add a cube so you add a cube and then you scale it down to the size you want of of course so right here i uh, i'll just be scaling it down on the different axis to kind of get that shape so i'm scaling it on the y the z and the x axis to kind of give it that shape next i go to face select mode so i select the face and then i press i to inset it and then e to extrude and right here uh, i just press scale to scale it out and then e to extrude again and you can i'm just repeating the process and you can just do this over and over again to create different patterns and to kind of create whatever shape you want so yeah it's really that simple to create this right here it's basically just some inset and extrude and scaling and so on and also i added i added an inset inside uh the column uh i'll put the original one on the screen so yeah you can just add that on the column right here but yeah it's very simple to model so the next thing that we'll be uh, modeling is, is these columns right here okay so this is very simple now we go to the scene uh we'll be adding a cube so yeah it's a cube again and you basically do the same thing again you just do some scaling uh and you scale on the different axis to give it uh kind of like whatever shape you want so i want that vertical shape so it will be longest on the x axis next we go into edit mode by the way you press tab to go in edit mode uh then you press uh i again to 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 inset and then E to extrude and you extrude it in and as you can see it kind of gives it that that nice little uh thing in next you press i again to inset and then scale so you scale it out a bit and then e extrude up and there it's so simple to create there we have it here i'm just doing it again doing it again because i didn't really like it but yeah uh it's actually pretty easy to create and it's it, it looks kind of cool when you add your textures and your shaders and so on 
Okay, so the next thing that we'll be modeling are these columns right here. And as you can see, they have this nice little pattern in them. Nothing super complicated. They're actually easy to make, as you'll see. Okay, so you add your, your cylinder and you don't scale it down. So here I added it again. And the settings right here, you just want to increase the vertices right there. Increase mine to 43. Next, you want to uh, shade it smooth so it looks smooth. Next, you want to increase it on the z-axis because we want it to be like vertical. So yeah, now we have this column right here and the only thing that's left to really do is to add those pattern, which I'll do in a minute. But right now, I'm just, I'm just really scaling it and putting it in position to match with the, with the, as I said, I don't know what the name of it is, but that bottom thing that the column will be inside so i'm just scaling it and matching it matching to match up no next we want to go into edit mode and ensure that you're in face select and as you can see i'm just selecting uh different faces at different distances apart in the original artwork i selected uh faces 10 uh faces apart so yeah you can do that then you want to press e and you want to go to individual origins so you want to go to individual origins and you want to press e and then when you extrude it now uh, you'll see that it will go in and it will give you that really nice pattern right there just a simple pattern nothing super complex okay so the next thing that we'll be modeling is uh this the the arch right there and also the other thing that the arch is on as i said i do not know the name so we simply add a cube and we resize it once more resize it on the axis uh to give it that shape so it's just like pressing s and then z s and then x to give it whatever shape you want next we're going to uh edit mode and again we just press face select we just press i to inset e to extrude uh and scale where necessary to give it the shape that you want and yeah that is it. it's just simple to create that next we're going to add the cylinder and we're going to do some scaling again scaling and positioning so we just scale it down shade it smooth and then we just simply position it uh where we want okay so the next thing that we'll do is we'll position uh these two elements we'll not position them in the exact middle because we'll be using the mirror modifier so we want them just a bit to the left so in front view right here i put them a bit to the to the left next add a modifier and add the mirror modifier and as you'll see mirror modifier nothing happens why you press shift s and then this will come you just put cursor to world origin and as you'll see in a minute the cursor is now to the world origin next you go to object with the object selected set origin and put set uh, origin to 3d cursor and as you can see now the mod modifier works now you do the same thing again with the cylinder at the top same thing that i just did you add modifier mirror modifier and as you can see it's mirrored now next thing that we want to do is we go to spin right there while in edit mode and you want to ensure that the face of the cylinder is selected and selected and as you can see this right now it looks it doesn't look good and i purposely did that so you want to en enter front view by pressing one and the cursor you the position of the cursor will determine the shape of this so wherever the cursor is it will determine the shape now you want to place the cursor just a little bit above uh the the top of the cylinder if you want to give it a perfect arch so you just uh put it just a bit above at the cylinder so here the cursor is just a bit above the cylinder and voila there you have your perch your perfect arch just like that and then of course you can uh as usual just use s to scale if you want it to be a bit smaller or whatever you just uh do your regular scaling and so on and yeah so the next uh 
thing that we'll be adding which is a final thing to the scene is the is the grass of course which is the landscape so yeah it's i actually added it using an add-on uh, a free add-on by the way so yeah you don't have to really worry about that and it's pretty helpful so yeah definitely download it so the name of the add-on is g sketcher so you just go uh matter of fact i leave the link of the add-on in the description so you can download it from there and then you just go to our uh, edit preferences and you install the add-on and then yeah you just check the box and yeah you have the add-on so yeah so first thing i want to do is add a plane so we just simply add a plane you scale it up or whatever and you want to set up your camera and this is very important as as you'll see further on uh, while creating this so you set up your camera and uh bam edit mode uh right click and subdivide and you want to give it a lot of subdivisions as you can see here because this will also it, it will also be helpful as you'll see further on in the in in the creation process of this next you want to go to g sketcher and you want to select the plane that is the add -on. so you select the plane and that thing right there that i just click you select that and as you can see we have a lot of different grasses here and uh you can just select really anyone you want so i selected this one and then i press scatter selected as you can see successfully scattered you just press ok and there we have the grass now we have the settings that we can play around with i set the density to a hundred and instantly uh, my viewport started lagging so yeah uh i said the, the 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 then i went over to scale and i and i brought the the main i brought it down a bit so yeah, i just went to scale and i brought it down a bit then i went back to distribution and i put the density to 200 and this will make your view, viewport a bit laggy. So before you do that, save the document. Then I just click weight paint and on add effect layer, I click weight paint and then I click the brush right there as you can see. So just look where my mouse is and then I just simply paint where I want the grass and this will be you want to paint the grass in the camera frame so whatever the camera can see you want to paint the grass there and only there reason for this is because it will it will uh it will make the viewport less laggy and it will also make the render time less so you'll render faster when you only have grass uh in that section right there so yeah that's what i did and it's as you can see it's so simple to add this and the grass actually looks realistic as i'll show you in rendered mode uh, because this is only a plain and grass of course it doesn't really look realistic you want to add dirt and you want to add some more layers of grass some different variation or whatever but yeah it's that simple to add grass in blender and it looks really realistic so yeah it's a really cool way you can do that and uh that's basically how i created the scene uh those are the different parts of it the different element the different elements i added so as you can see i modeled everything in the scene uh and uh the ground i just used uh add-on to add the texture and yeah that's basically how i created this you can create it yourself too and um yeah thank you for watching i hope you learned something from this video if you did you can subscribe uh share like uh this is my first video on the channel i'm planning put, to put more content out soon but i am still new to blender so yeah the tutorials and the videos won't be that high quality and top quality but yeah it's just basically me sharing uh the creation process of some of my 3d renders so yeah thanks for watching wake up to reality Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world.